Okay, so now we need to cut the side strip for the pouch, and the pouch is gonna be one and a half inches wide, so we've got a one inch standard wide ruler, and then a half inch for a spacer, and I've got another piece of metal for a block. But the question is, first, do we have enough to go the entire perimeter of this pouch? And the trick there is you could do a lot of measuring, um, but it's not necessary. What you do wanna make sure is that you have more than enough because you can always cut it shorter, but you can never cut it longer. And you don't want to do a whole bunch of extra stitching. So what I always do is I lay my part on the perimeter and I just roll it against my edge. And I ask myself from that roll where I've captured that entire length. So what we know is we started where my finger was and we ended over here we needed at minimum 16 inches of material. Okay, so we know for a fact we've got about 24 inches, maybe more of material. That's gonna be plenty. So we're just gonna cut off one continuous strip and then we'll leave the ends long when we do the rest of the work. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the leather pressed flush to the edge of my cutting ruler for alignment. And then I'm going to use my one and a half inch spacing and I'm pressing down on the bar as I do the cut. If you don't have a rotary cutter, what you can do is simply use your ruler to mark out your cut and then hand cut it with scissors and that will work without issue. It's just a little harder on your hand and it's going to take longer but you work with the tools that you have, right? So we just wanna make sure that our blade is seated in our initial cut. So I'm gonna start up here. Make sure that blade is seated. Make sure my ruler is still in alignment. And then finish out the cut. So if for some reason when you go to pull it apart, you find that you're still attached somewhere in the hide, that's okay. What you want to do is just gently slide the section of hide that you're having trouble with to a point where you can see it well, figure out how deep you cut. And if you weren't applying enough pressure or the cutter is getting dull, you may need to refollow that line. So once you have that cut, Got a little rag here hanging off the edge. Just trim that. You can roll up the remainder of the hide, set it aside, and then it's always a good idea to check and make sure that your whole assembly still looks like your whole assembly, okay? So we've got our front, we've got our edge, and we've got our back. There's also enough material if we decide to do a strip down the front we can, as well as any sort of design for the back, okay? I'm likely to incorporate this design on the back. I may do the thigh strap differently. 